Pretty cute baby. Happy birthday, Jolene. Yeah. That's Happy what we can birthday. say, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so these winds are pretty impressive. Now they're finally starting to calm on down. But earlier this evening, actually earlier this morning, they were very strong. Indeed, Montecito Hills got up to 70 mile an hour gusts. Point Conception Lighthouse uh, just under 60 in Gaviota Hills and Goleta and Lompoc all in the four, 35, 39 to 43 mile an hour territory. So why all this wind? We'll talk about that in just a few seconds. Live view Santa Barbara, crystal clear skies, temperature drop and the winds are light, which is good. Humidity is picking up. So we've got this thing called La Nina. La Nina is a uh, weather climate phenomena that develops when the water gets really cold off of South America, and that tends to divert the jet stream up and over California and down into the Great Plains. That gives us a northwesterly flow, and it dries our atmosphere out and picks up our winds a lot. And we've had a lot of that the last few months and few weeks and few days. And unfortunately, the forecast doesn't look promising for more rain because here you go. Another high moves in with the jet stream as the low moves out and more wind has been in the story. But luckily for us, it's going to be calming on down and the temperatures will be warming on up for a really nice looking weekend up ahead. You're going to want to check out this seven day coming up in just about a minute or so for that. Tonight, we're going to get kind of cool already. Temperatures are dropping off a good bit, except for the south coast. We've got some local warming with the winds coming in out of the north. We call that downsloping, by the way, and the wind alerts are still up for Santa Barbara south coast until the morning. Morning, maybe more winds later on tomorrow night further towards our east, I think. So the wind gusts, I think we passed the peak of those and now we're going to be in for the warm up and a very nice looking several days up ahead with less wind, more temps and possibly some very nice picnic or barbecue weather in store for the weekend. So tonight getting chilly yet again, dry conditions prevail, temperatures dipping into the 40s and locally into the 30s. We've got a frost advisory in some of our San Luis Obispo inland valleys tomorrow in the 60s at the coast, 70s inland, and possibly close to 80 in some of our valleys as well. Santa Barbara, we're going to be flirting with that 79 to 80 degree mark. We'll see if we can get up to 80 in Montecito. And the seven day forecast just after one more stop in Ventura, Santa Maria. Warmer and breezy conditions for your Thursday. Sunny skies, maybe a few high clouds tomorrow afternoon. Not very much of that at all until the weekend when possibly more marine layer clouds come in and the temperature starts to drop off for us. Warm day for Saturday expected in Lompoc after a very cool last several and winds will be hopefully getting a little bit weaker as well as the calendar moves on ahead into the weekend. San Inez tomorrow very warm and windy close to 80. If not Thursday, then possibly Friday we will get over the 80 degree mark and staying warm to hot right on into Saturday before a little bit of a cool down comes Sunday. San Luis Obispo warmer afternoon breezes, very pleasant conditions continue into the weekend and then possibly a little bit of a slight cool down come early next week. Five cities even for you at the coast. It'll be cool until a warm up comes in towards the weekend. CJ, back to you. All right, thank you. Coming up next.